Hey everybody, it's day nine of Halloween October month. And uh, I watched another movie after that Monster Man. There was another movie on the tape called Living Hell that I rented from Blockbuster, recorded onto a tape after Monster Man. And I remember watching both of those, I guess, at the same time. And I guess I only watched them once and never watched them again. But I watched Leaving Hell again, and it was uh, it was an odd one. I looked up reviews. Okay, it's, it's Japanese. It's from 2000. It's called Living Hell. There are... Um, I'll make this one quick. People com comparing it to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Evil Dead. One or two, I can't remember, but comparing it to Evil Dead. It's nothing like those. The only thing I can say that it's like those in any way is that it's a crazy family in the chainsaw part and that they're confined to a, a house pretty much for Evil Dead. Or at least one person is. So uh, it starts off, uh, lady gets up in the middle of the night, she hears something, she grabs a baseball bat, she walks into her living room or I guess the living room. And there's a, someone eating her dog's face. Like she's bent down and I, I think she just smashed its face and is just taking pieces. It's not as graphic as it sounds. She's shocked, drops the bat, and then this old lady picks up the bat and kills her with it. You know, they don't show that. You just see the bat. Police come. Everybody gets taken away. You find out later that the old lady and the... the dog eater were put like in an insane asylum they escape and somehow they come to a new family and they start living there I don't know how well I guess I kind of know how but I don't know they don't tell you so there's a, fa a Japanese family it's a dad two sons and a daughter and, and the, the oldest son tells the, the sister you know we're going to have some relatives come and she's like man I got to take care of them Dad works all week. Like he, he goes to he he lives at not at his work, but he lives wherever his work is. Comes home on the weekends. The older brother Ken works. The, the younger brother Yasu. They don't say his name Yasu. They say it. I, I tried to hear it, but I could never hear how they say it. <clears throat> He's confined to a wheelchair because he has he has anxiety and it's like made him immobile. So Yasu is like the main guy. Mommy. And that's her name, Mommy, is a sister. And then they bring in the old lady, Bat Swinger, and the dog eater. I can't remember their names. Doesn't matter because this lady, this old lady, she's just pale. She looks like a zombie. Like nonverbal, just stares blankly. The girl, the dog eater... Dude, she is emaciated beyond belief. I don't know who this actress that they got is, but she look and she's pale. Her, she looks like not exactly like the ring, but she could have been uh, Samara or uh, Sadako. Without, I guess they painted her white, but she is weird looking. Like she's just sticks and bones and and stringy long black hair, and they just stand there and stare. And like, they don't think anything's wrong with these people except Yasu in the wheelchair. So everybody's got to go to work. Yasu's there, and they almost immediate, pretty much immediately, yeah, like immediately, start torturing him. Oh, and it's it's horrible because it just makes me think, man, like someone that's handicapped, and, and this you know this happens all the time. I, I hear it, heard it about so many times here in San Antonio of like people in wheelchairs. Hell. I've heard of people, I remember a long time ago, there was a guy in a wheelchair like torturing kids in, in his house, his family. But you hear about it, you know, every once in a while, like someone's torturing an elderly or young or handicapped person, so that's what they're doing. So it's pretty infuriating to watch. And so they're, they're torturing Yasu. At first, they like, they turn the lights out and they start pinching him and pulling his hair. And his sister and his brother, Ken, they're like, they don't believe him. Actually, the the brother blames the older brother blames his sister, but then later he tells her, "I just went along with that because that's just going crazy, and we got to put him away." 
And there's an intercom and Yasu hears this and he's like, F man, like so he's getting no help. They um It is kind of funny. They take him for his daily walk and then the, the old lady's running with him and almost he almost gets hit by a car. They kill his bird and, and like give it to him to eat. He doesn't eat it, but they killed it and put it on the like a box and give it to him. I guess he thought it was food at first. And then they just go all, all out. They, throw, they stun him with one of those old fashioned, yeah, one of those stun guns. Eventually, like, the the dad's gone all week. Sister works, older brother works. They just start torturing him, like, making him bleed. They throw darts at him, pull his teeth out. You know, and after a while, like, I started to hate Yasu too, because he couldn't. And then I remembered, like, he. He, it's just all in his head that he can't walk. I was like, man, get the F up and walk your butt out of there. Do fight him. I was like, this lady, you could grab the girl and go, Greg, you could grab her wrist and it would snap it in twain, man. And that old bitch just smash her face with something, but he can't. Like, I think they tied him to his chair. They immobilized him. And then there's a, a, a detective or like an investigative reporter because he was at the case, he was at the house when the old lady killed the family, but he knows she escaped and he's trying to find her. Finds out she has a son. You find all this crazy stuff that she didn't start having babies till her 40s and like she's even having babies in her 50s. She has a crazy son. So it's this investigative reporter trying to find out where this lady is to eventually save Yasu. Uh, it turns out Yasu's dad is is like the husband of the old I don't know why they kept why they kept this hidden because the dad comes home and he just like this is my beautiful he doesn't say that but kisses the old lady and then they start it turns out that mommy is adopted and they torture her they're, and then they're gonna eat her I think they catch the reporter comes in they catch him the old lady bites one of his eyes out and then uh, Yasu, finally he gets up. It's really quick. I, I wasn't paying attention. I think he either kills his dad and his brother really quick. Then he runs away. And the whole bitch runs after him. And she's running like her head down. And then she catches him and then she gets hit by a truck. And then turns out Yasu's crazy too and he's a... He's a murderer, I guess. He's got. He's just as psycho as the rest of the family. Overall, at first it was okay. I, I was reading reviews. People say like it's not gory enough. It's not sick enough. I was like, it's plenty sick. Yeah, there's not that much gore though. And towards the end, yeah, I was really getting. I was like, it's, it's just the same thing, you know. Same thing over and over. They're torturing him. They're throwing darts at him. They're pulling his teeth out. They're just. It's just. I don't know. It's kind of, yeah, it was kind of funny, but now, like, you know, I rented it when it came out in 2000, 20, oh my God, 24 years later, I'm like, I just, it's not what I wanted. I just don't want to see torture, I guess. I don't know. I still want to see those guinea pig movies. I, I don't like the Saw movies. I don't like Hostel. I don't like any of that stuff. So this one was different. Um. Uh, it's just middle of the road, I guess. Two and a half. Um, and it's weird because I've seen a lot of Japanese horror now, and this feels just kind of different from a lot of the stuff that I've seen. I'm glad I watched it just because I can. I was, uh, even though Monster Man was okay, I'm just gonna throw this tape away. I don't think anyone would want it. It is. I gotta get rid of a lot of these tapes. But uh, that's uh, what else I watched. Yeah, two and a half. I almost want to give it a two now looking back on it. Because towards the end, I was kind of dozing off. I just didn't care anymore. And then when they revealed that Yasu is a psycho, I was uh, 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 don't care. So that's another one. Yeah, not a great one. I guess 
I'm gonna say Ghost with Holes. Now go I think Ghost Ghost with Holes is, is the winner so far. It's I like it better than some species. Graveyard shift. Uh, see what happens. And I got more. And I want to apologize. I, I mean, I don't need to apologize, but I told some of my friends that, are, that watch my videos that I'm going to do so many. I'm going to do like three a day, and I, and I haven't. But I'm going to try, try to bang one out later. So, if you ever seen Living Hell, or you know, if you like any Japanese horror, let me know. Suggest some more movies, and I'll see you in a bit.